what you mean? Ay, I like honey, nothing in between. Bad little baby, they got mad overseas. Ay, she wanna go out shopping every week. Finna go, she proud of now, she rockin' double C's. Ay, the way the back came in is like a dream. Lo Fonte, all that fool, it with a V. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with me, QB. And today, man, I got a special one for you guys. Um, probably gonna be my most favorite video ever recorded. I'm actually gonna pull up on one of you guys, one of y'all supporters, man. His name is Kevin. Um, he get into the boxer industry, so we're gonna go over there, you know, talk to him, see what he got going on, possibly look at his truck, you know, and just give him tips and whatever we can to help him, you know, um, get into the business and be profitable off the beginning. So that's sort of, you know, my main goal with you guys is, you know, helping you guys and make sure you guys get money early on. So that's what we got going on, man. If you're new, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let's go. All right, so we just made it here with Kevin. And it's 268, right? It's 268 Hino, right? Yeah, this, this is good. Let me see. I never really took up no. <laughs> sure, I just, man, I just got um, monetized on YouTube yesterday. Yeah. So, man, you so now I can all make a little piece of change now. Yeah, this is clean. This is clean. I want your knowledge. Mm -hmm. you, you already doing it, man. I ain't, I ain't trying to take nothing from nobody. I ain't trying to mm -hmm. nothing. I'm just trying to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. So we all can get out here and eat. Yeah, that's the goal, man. I, Yeah, this is always a pain to really try to open that bread and make it. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, you good. <laughs> now you. Yeah, I mean, I, when I tell you, I ain't... What you see is how I bought it, just mm -hmm. like this. Bro, it's good. Yeah. It's strong. I laughed at you because I was watching your video. Try to pass that, though. That's, okay. That's it, though. Everything else, I'm trying to probably... Trying to get all yeah. that. Okay. I mean, you don't worry, guys. When you see a hole, that's when you know, because some some um, shipper companies, they see a hole, they're like, oh, we can't load your they truck. They don't want to Okay. I got a hole in mine right now. I got to fix it. Okay, okay. I was laughing at you when you said you, you got you a, um, the stopper mm -hmm. for the, for the pallet. Mm -hmm. Yo, this is the best thing ever. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, but I bought I bought the truck out of Memphis. I paid 22 for it. Yeah, just, I mean, just, I mean, just like this. So, and I wanted the Hino. I've been looking at mm -hmm. the International that I was reading. No, nah, don't don't get it. Yeah, see. So I, said, I had an I had a yellow International, uh -huh. and I me and my dad rebuilt the whole engine on it, and it still never ran correct. What? Yeah, Damn I had to get rid of that. That's the worst truck ever. Okay. But this Hino and Freightliner are the best two trucks. But okay. they saying Hino is actually better than Freightliner. Okay. So. Uh -huh. So you, I can get some money. Yeah, you gonna get some. You gonna get some money in this. Twenty six foot tour, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you making me that? Yeah. This is this is one of the cleanest trucks I've seen. Okay. Trust me for oh nine. Okay. Be good. Yeah, yeah. So and I mean it, it, it run good. I ain't had no. When I tell you, thank God, no mm -hmm. pressure. Now, like I said, I drove it all the way out of Memphis, man. Yeah, that's that's. And that was the road test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you pass that test, you good, cause yeah. you know you. A lot of times, people buying, they don't know like what they get into. It, it might be good when you first test it out, but on your way home, you gave me your money already. It's it, like damn. It's, yeah, you got to deal with it. Uh, mm -hmm. And see, I think you, for me, like I told you, now it's like as I listen at you, I understand. I got this part, but it's like you say, it's dialing in the numbers to make sure, mm -hmm. even you know, I'm maximizing this truck. Cause I mean, mm -hmm. to me, it's a, I'm looking at it as a business. This ain't something. I'm cruising, so I want if I crank that truck up and go somewhere, mm -hmm. it need to be financially beneficial mm -hmm. to me. Like I ain't just, hey, can you come move something for me for twenty dollars? Oh, not if it's thirty minutes away. Nah, mm -hmm. 
But so, shoot, since you own your truck and everything, your property, your rate per mile, like you said, was like a like dollar fifty. I did. I went. So the way we did, I went like one thirty. And I, if you don't mind, and mm-hmm. I'll pay you for your time, but I want to just kind of sit down with you and kind of mm-hmm. see if my formula makes sense to okay. you. Okay. All you right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What, what I got going on? Because mm-hmm. yeah. so I'm gonna get into that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
she she she's straight. Now man. this <laughs> this is a good vibe, bro. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. How many miles you got in? Oh, uh, it says two sixty five. <laughs> yeah, I'm jealous, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two sixty-five. Mm. Yep. Uh -huh. And he knows run strong for a long time. Yeah, yeah. So, and your dad do all your maintenance? Do you? Yeah. What, what kind of? What do you recommend as far as? Should I buy like a service kit or how? How you like? How um, often? um, I then like what for like filters and everything? Yeah, stuff like that. Um, just to keep just, the service. I've ten to fifteen thousand miles when you should be doing an oil change. Okay. Okay. So, okay. I mean. I don't know how hard you're gonna run, but it's gonna take a little while to get up there. So, okay, but okay. I always recommend just doing the oil change itself. So, the shop is like two hundred, three hundred dollars. Gotcha. Right. So, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then when you drive, no, always keep like a whole gallon of oil yep. and antifreeze. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can. I got, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go get some more of that stuff. Yeah. I got like a and couple. A, um, that's a two box, a, a two box kit as well. Okay. Two box kit. All antifreeze. All right. Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. Uh, I forgot what I was on top of my head. I gotta go in my truck. This I got you. Part. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Man. Hey, man. I'm just, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative of you, you mm -hmm. giving up your time today, man. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was about to go on the road in a little while, probably. So okay. I'll just come over here and okay. I ain't had nothing to do anyway. Right. So I'm gonna um, My mom, she want to meet you. All right, if, no if problem. It's cool. Yeah. No, this truck, this truck is clean, man. This. That's the standard Amazon requirement. Okay, one million. So you oh. have to buy that yourself? Yeah, yeah. The insurance? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two million. Two million aggregate. Okay. And that's why I know you said you, you pay, what you said on YouTube? Like, like 17. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got me, I'm not they, gonna, they got me good. I was paying, I think 14 and some change and then they added on uninsured motorists out of nowhere and just boost it. Totally. So one month I had to pay seventeen, it jumped to twenty three hundred, and then next month I had to pay thirty five hundred. I'm like, what? How's it going up so right. high? So, so how, how do you factor in your household bills and what you're sent from? Um, you whatever that? bills I got, like whether it's rent, because my girlfriend I think she pays like the light and the and the yes. Wi Fi, right. and that's it. So I got rent and all the miscellaneous little oh. bills. So I, whatever that is in total, like and I even throw in groceries too. Okay. So whatever that, I get a specific number and I say, okay, whatever I make this month, I'm gonna take this out and okay. then just pay the bills with that. Cause I'm not worried about making money for myself. Like as long as my bills in my house is paid, I'm good. I got respect, respect, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And a little extra to take my kids out here and there, but after that, I'm good because I ain't really trying to make no money for yeah, myself. So I'm good. For the maintenance and upkeep of the truck and all that. Yeah, that I take out two hundred dollars a week for for maintenance. For, for maintenance, but you always will jump in. You're going to want to have a couple of thousand dollars just sitting somewhere, just in case, just in case, okay. and just add two hundred dollars to it okay. every week. Mm -hmm. He said, Ma, he said he recommend me getting the bigger tires and rims, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I've yeah, seen one of the rims a little bent, bent. too. Yeah, yeah, it holds there because I bought I mean, I, I bought it just like that. And it holds, and it's been holding it this long. But mm -hmm. um, And that's, that's been my concern. Down there, what does that look like when I got a load on it, though? Mm -hmm. What about, um, who you recommend that I can get that a set? Of, I mean, who would you deal with um, to get a set of rims and tires? Rims, I got a tire person, but rims, I don't know how the rims uh will work because i don't know if you gotta like put a bigger hub or something on there so to hold the guy it. To, i talked to one he said you don't have to change the hub at okay all. you just put a bigger rim yep, on it all right so rim. i would say go find like a, a junkyard or something to be honest okay okay yeah if you could just kind of plug in with the your tire guy mm -hmm. tap me into him just in case because i mean if i could shop with him and show shop with you i'd do mm -hmm. that yeah. I mean, you got a 26 foot. I recommend just getting an extra spare tire tool okay. and try to put that somewhere because I was going to blow a tire and the price I had to pay for a used tire for him to put it on is crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Man, he got me. He got me good too. How, how, now, when you, you be side the road, you call a tool or like a. Oh, uh, it depends on where I'm at. I didn't have no. no um mechanical yeah i didn't have nothing like over over the road anything i didn't have no problems yet but when my tire popped i found out the next day when my truck was already parked so i ain't so i just looked on facebook or whatever try to find a local guy and then okay. just took my truck to him cool, cool, cool. but if you over the road you definitely want to like call yeah, somebody. somebody and they 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 gonna tax you they make a good living probably because <laughs> the way they charge mm -hmm. they charge yeah, yeah for sure okay so you have to get somebody like that if you need some kind of repair done on the truck. Or yeah, something. for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah so, so you always have a, a mechanic guy. Okay. Like I said, my dad will do. He'll do some basic work. Okay. Like any oil changes, um, anything, anything 
that could be changed with an owl, but it, when it gets too deep into like engine work and all that, he he don't he do really he don't, he'll do it for himself, but he's not gonna do it for I other respect. people because it's too much. I respect, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's yeah, I mean the liability to it too. I would rather tear my own stuff away, but it ain't worth yeah, it. Then definitely. I don't wanna, yeah, put you in a situation. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I definitely get it. Okay, all right. Well, yeah. What you you got anything on? No, I don't have anything right now. Oh, you know how much uh, how much um weight you can hold? So, not no, because what I, I haven't took it to the to like a. Mm. They told me you got to take it. To yeah, like you a fill it up, fill out both tanks all the way, and then drop, go make sure all your equipment is in the truck okay, and go and to the scale. scale. Okay, go on the scale. So I need to do that too. All mm. right. So when you out there on the road, you have to stop at those weigh stations too. Uh, yeah, I I tend to like. If I see a truck that's also passing, I will sneak on the side of him and just <laughs> <laughs> and just go down the road. Like when right. you see them them Peter belts and everything, right. those are the trucker yeah. truckers. They don't mess with them. So right. you just find your way on the side of them and you just go. Yeah, but So you have an eighteen wheeler. Oh uh, yeah. It's oh. I don't got it running yet. So I'm just in a box truck for right now. Oh, okay. 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 But way station definitely if you if if it's on and you don't got no other trucks passing passing it, you just go on, just go in there. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think they really mess with box trucks like that. Uh, they really mess with hot shots and stuff like that. Gotcha. Alright, I wrote that down. <laughs> okay. Well, Q, we wanna can I give you a few dollars just for your time? No, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. So I mean well I'll okay. I mean, buy you lunch or something. Uh, I mean I'll take some I'll take some lunch. Alright, alright. Leave lunch, buy you some lunch, buddy. Alright, so got uh, Kevin. But like, what was an hour, two hours? So just talking business and just getting him hip to everything, man. Oh, this, and you wait. This, and you got 13, the height, 13 feet. Jeez. Okay. The, thir the height. Yeah. 13. Yeah, you good. Yeah. Everybody, that's what everybody says. Like, hey man, it's big, man. It's like, mm -hmm. You sure it's 26? I'm like, yeah, that's what the big one says. Got the right height, right length. Yep. And it's clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is clean. Alright, so we just left Kevin's house. We gotta get some gas on the way home, but. I gotta chop it up with all you guys real quick on like a serious note. So, give me one second. Alright, so first of all, I wanna give a thank you to Kevin and his mom. You guys showed me the utmost respect and hospitality. Like, you guys treated me like I was family. I appreciate that very much. Like, it's so crazy, like, like where these videos are getting me. It's connecting me, people from all over the world just helping them start their business and like I'm not like I, I don't do this for money I don't do this for anything you know I'm just sharing my life and just documenting it on, on YouTube you know and just showing you guys like it's possible and like it's crazy where where it's getting me like uh, like like it's crazy today was just a surreal moment for me to just you know talk business a business I'm love a business that you know I'm very involved in with somebody that has the same interest you know just talking about everything from A to Z and it's like it's just crazy that my videos led me to this moment where I could just s share my message and you know motivate it motivate a whole bunch of people just by posting videos like it, it, it's just crazy to me like you know and I like I said I don't do this for money I don't do it for anything like do I seen Kevin was serious about you know getting into this business and like I, I from I just help I do what I can to help and like I said if, if it's if I could see him motivate motivating him like bro that's all I need if I see motivation in anyone I'm gonna help you guys and I try to preach that day I'm gonna help you if I see that you truly want to get into business I'm gonna help you by any means. I was in, like I tell people all the time, I was literally in a lot of you guys' position where, you know, I'm just taking in a whole bunch of information. Like at the time, I didn't even have the money to do anything. Like I was just jotting down in my notebook from everything I, I trying to take knowledge of, like just writing it down and just hoping one day I actually could do it. You know, and I didn't even have guidance from someone this whole process. Like I just did everything myself from from the knowledge of the boxer industry and everything i just learned myself and, and did it 
like I said, I was in you guys' position. So if I can help you guys, I'm going to help 100,000%. I hope multiple guys, you guys already just get on a phone call and like Instagram, whatever. Like, and it's so intriguing to me because I really love doing it. Like, I feel like this is my purpose in life. And just, it, it, it's just crazy where I've become. So shout out to Kevin. Shout out to your mom. You guys didn't have to, you know, treat me like family. You guys didn't have to do any of that. I appreciate it very much for the bottom of my heart. And I hope you have the most success possible with this business. I know it's going to be scary jumping in, but man, you got this. I believe, and yeah, man, this is um the end of this video. The video was kind of it wasn't all over the place, but it was just like a walkthrough of me helping him, you know, and little conversations we had here and there. It wasn't more so like of a detailed video, but you know, I just wanted to you know break down the numbers with him and just talk about the business, not more so make a whole video on it because like we came to talk business like i said not really to make a video but i'm just showing you guys like there's genuine people out there like myself that's willing to help you out guys you know now everybody has a goal from their supporters to get some type of financial gain that's definitely not me and i'm just putting my message out there for y'all so yeah if you're new like comment subscribe you know we grinding um and i just hope you guys see my message and watch my journey and grow with me so I appreciate everyone who subscribed, everyone who watched the video, comment, give me advice, teach me things as well, because I'm still learning. I appreciate it, everything you guys are doing for me. And I'm out. Peace.